Honeycrisp, Gala, Junami. Who knew there were so many types of apples? Bismack, Pinata, Matsu. What's your favorite type of apple? Empire, Granny Smith, Ginger Golden. Mine is a pink lady. Hey guys, Ray Pahar from Get Crafty Crafty, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make flower apple blossom tarts. Using a few simple ingredients, we're going to turn an apple into something that looks like a rose and is actually a really tasty treat. Let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The items that you'll need for today's project include a small mixing bowl, a rolling pin, parchment paper, access to an oven, a muffin tray, one puff pastry sheet, I found this in the frozen section of the grocery market, cinnamon, any type of fruit preserve, today we're using apricot, one to two apples, depending on the size of your apple, I suggest either using a gala apple or a delicious red apple, and some flour for dusting your surface. Before starting this project, Make sure your surface, your cutting board, and your hands are thoroughly cleaned. After washing your apple, carefully cut it in half, and then decore your apple. You wanna make sure the core of your apple has been taken off before you start slicing your apple. After you decore your apple, you wanna carefully slice it from the top to the bottom of your apple. You wanna have really thin slices, so that when you put them into your puff pastry, they'll be able to be folded. Make sure your apple slices are cut evenly and thin. Depending on the size of your apple, you might need to use one to two apples. To keep your apples from browning, place them in a small bowl, add some water and the juice of half a lemon, and this will prevent them from turning brown. Continue to cut your apples. You want to have about 40 to 50 slices. After you've sliced all of your apples, you want to place them in the microwave in the water for about three minutes. This will allow your apples to tenderize so they won't snap when you fold them into your apple rose. After three minutes in the microwave, your apples will be ready for the puff pastries. Be very careful when you're taking it out since the water will be very hot. Your apples should be flexible enough so when you fold them in, they won't snap. Set your apples aside so that you can prep your parchment paper. Cut out six rectangular pieces of parchment paper and then from the corner to the center of your paper, you're gonna cut a few inches into it but not all the way, just so that your parchment paper will be able to fold into your muffin tray. Do this to six of your pieces. Take your fruit preserves and mix in about four tables of fruit preserve to one tablespoon of water. You want to mix it in together until it's a liquidy consistency. Set all your ingredients aside so that we can start working with our puff pastry. You want to have all your ingredients ready to go, so when we cut our pastry, they'll be ready to put into the muffin tray. Make sure your surface is clean and add a light sprinkle of flour. Carefully take your puff pastry and unroll it onto the flour. Add a small amount of flour to the top of your puff pastry and then carefully cut it into thirds. Set two pieces of your puff pastry aside. Using your rolling pin, you want to gently roll out your puff pastry so that it expands to about three inches. Once it's expanded, you're gonna take your knife and you're gonna cut it down the middle so that you have two strips. Repeat this to all the other pieces. Once you've rolled out and cut all of your puff pastry, it's ready to assemble. Take your fruit preserve and add a small amount down the center of your puff pastry and then take your apple slices and carefully overlay them on top of your puff pastry. You wanna have them stick out of your puff pastry by about half an inch, and you wanna put about nine, eight to nine pieces of apple overlaying each other from side to side. Once you've laid out all of your apples, gently fold the other half of your puff pastry over your apples, and then starting from one side, carefully roll your apples and your puff pastry so that it creates your rose. You wanna do this very slowly and carefully so that your apples won't snap and everything stays in place. Once you have that, you'll have your apple rose. As an optional step, you can place some cinnamon either on the inside or on the outside of your apple rose. And then once you have that, place it in the center of your parchment paper and then place it inside your muffin tray. 
Repeat this until you've made all six of your apple roses. Place this in a 375 degree oven for 40 to 45 minutes or until the puff pastry is golden brown. For the last 10 minutes of the cooking period, you want to pay attention to your roses because if, they, if your oven is too hot, the apples might burn. If you, want to, if you notice that they start to burn, just place it on a lower interval or bring it down to 350. Go ahead and place this in your oven. After baking for 40 to 45 minutes, you want to give them about 5 to 10 minutes to cool before you take them out of the muffin tray and remove the parchment paper from your apple rose. After you remove them from the parchment paper, you can individually plate them and add a little bit of powdered sugar just to make it a little more special. After you guys have added the powdered sugar or decided to skip that step, you're ready to eat your apple blossom. It tastes just like an apple pie, and if you want to, you can serve it with a side of ice cream. This is a fun and really tasty, pretty, special treat, and I found this on Pinterest. Super excited to actually try it out and eat it. Hopefully you guys make this project, and if you do, make sure you share it with me either on my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter using the Get Crafty Crafty hashtag, and check out our last two videos, our Lady Rainicorn inspired unicorn horn, and our Paracord bracelet, which is having a cool little giveaway. So make sure you guys check that out so you guys can get a Paracord bracelet made by me in the next few weeks. Other than that, hopefully you guys had fun making this project. See you guys next time. Take care, stay crafty, and I'm gonna go ahead and eat this apple blossom. Mm. It's really good. See you guys.